the lead up for the grade one, I mean, he strives to amaze me every time I sit on that little horse, whether it be at home or on the track. He's, he became the little chap who's now one of the big guns. He's a big name. And uh, I admire to be anything like his character and succeed in my career like he has in his. And I'm very, very lucky I've got the partnership with him and Paul and all of his owners to keep me with him as a claimer to, to go into that grade one was off the bat a massive confidence for a young jockey like me. And, um, you know, who would have thought the day that we got legged up in the summer at Worcester that we'd be coming to Kempton on Boxing Day, one of the biggest racing days in the calendar, um, to come and have a good crack at grade one. And uh, the way that he did it, he didn't just win. He put his heart out on the line for me and he was brave. And uh, coming down to this last fence, when you're clear and, and all you've got to do is jump, and, and that's what he does. He does jump, and that's how he won, is because he jumps. It's the name of the game, and um, I admire him, and he's, yeah, he's my best mate. The horses Paul's had are incredible, but Cato was different league. He was a superstar, you know? And for, for me and my little horse to be running in a race named after him um, for the team that Cato was in, um, to be honouring him, as it were, is a big thing, you know, and it, it doesn't sink in until you're kind of travelling home that, you know, your little horse has just gone and won a superstar, you know, and he, and you're making him, you're trying to make him into a superstar, because that's what we do, we're trying to succeed for their careers, that's, that's the whole point, you know, um, and uh, for, for that, it's just an incredible feeling, and we're all very proud of our, our little horse, Black Corton. Who knows, he's got a big heart and he's brave. Um, and for some reason at the end of three miles, he toughs it out and he gives you everything and he enjoys it, you know. You ask more of him, he loves it, you know. And if you're not, he's getting angry with you. Um, and he knows what he wants to do. Um, and we just fit in a groove together now. Um, I know how he likes to be ridden and I know how he likes to gallop. And I've never yet found the ceiling to him. And uh, so that makes you excited going to Cheltenham because I'm going to have to ask more of him and I, he's going to have to step up again and he's got all the doubters yet he's not scared to look him in the eye you know and that's <laughs> you've got to take something out of the little horse uh, for that you know if anybody in the world has got people that are doubting him um, you kind of find comfort in the way that he's stood up to everybody and gone well yeah okay I was a little guy and I was meant to be a summer horse and now I'm going to the festival and everybody's talking about me so to be in a partnership with a horse like that how can you not be proud of him and how can you not believe in him? Oh, it's Cheltenham. It's the festival. It's the Olympics for the racing world. Everybody is going there 100% ready. There, isn't, there hasn't been a day that's been missed in their work. The horses are all finely tuned. They all feel amazing. They're all coming at full gun capacity, you know, and we're all switched on. We're all ready to rock and roll. There hasn't been a hair that hasn't been brushed in the right place. There hasn't been, you know, a, a day, the moment the trainer hasn't thought about him. The owners are excited. The hype is amazing. So the whole field are going to be gunning it. Um, and uh, along with my little lad and, um, you know, we've got some big horses and I'm going to have to ask again of him and who knows what he can achieve. Um, he's, he's gone and proved me wrong multiple times and I'm pleased for that. So let's, let's see what happens. Ah, oh, so, you know, if it stays dry, which looks like the skies are opening now, then the rain might come down. Um, a lot of people believed my little horse could only go on concrete and he proved the point at Cheltenham that he could go when the rain was coming down and the mud was coming in his face. He grabbed a bit harder and he ran harder um, and he jumped faster. So uh, I believe in him. I think he turns, he turns his uh, hoof, as it were, to the best of his ability. Um, and he, he gives everything to me, so there's, there's no worries in that. Yeah, it's, it's funny to think 12 months ago, we were running into Cheltenham with a horse with a chance. And how fortunate am I to be in a team that gives me the opportunity to say, again, I'm going into the festival with a horse with a chance. It's what every jockey wants, you know, and, and to think that I've got the opportunity to say it is, it takes you back a bit, um, and you believe in yourself, you believe in your team, you believe in your horse, it's what we're here for. Whatever will be, will be. I'll do my best, I know what I've got to do, I'll have him in the best position as I possibly can, um, and if he's good enough, who knows what will happen.